Be sure to download the entire podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And please like and subscribe for more videos. I'm using Showforge software with Vagal hardware, a, a main hub that then speaks to all these little I.O. boxes. And one of them plays video. And that allows me to, like in the train car room, that allows me to say, okay, right here and now, on the timeline, play this video to those monitors. So that box gives me two channels. Right. Well, I took one channel and I matrixed it to the train room onto four displays. And then I took the other one and I put it on our transparent LCD screen, which is way smaller than we would like. But if you're going to take apart a TV for the first time, start small. So, so when it came to like the Haunted Mansion and then it came to the projection room, I had to use Raspberry Pis and just run stuff on loops and actually wasn't sure which way I was going to split that. At a certain point, I wasn't sure if I was going to use the Pro VP and be able to control the stuff on the projectors, meaning for this demo ride, this Muppet Land ride, I would be able to stop and start what goes on in the projection room versus doing it in the train room and then just using Raspberry Pis and running stuff on basically what amounts to a 30 second loop in the projection room. And all of that is just something I had to decide on my own. But ultimately what I decided to do was look, by the time you get to the end of the ride in the projection room, you've got that we've accomplished something here. So at this point, if people see that these videos are on 30 second loops, they'll understand why these are artificial limitations. This is not a limitation predicated on me not knowing what I wanted to do or Brett not knowing how to do it. It was, we only have this many channels, you know? So, but we don't let the, you don't let those things hold you back. And, and again, that was the whole darn exercise from the gate. We decided to do this Muppet land podcast as sort of a precursor, give you a little history on how we got to even doing this thing, share the honest truth about our own learning experiences. Last week, we went back to the, what used to be the arcade spot and took a fresh look for the first time since this pandemic started, which is the better part of a year. And we started re-envisioning the new space. So we've got a lot coming. We've learned a lot. So maybe like going into the new year, we could take this conversation that the three of us are having start to maybe bring in some guests, engage the audience a little bit more. I'd love to make it maybe a weekly thing where we talk about our progress, yeah. share with people what we're doing and drill down a little bit more about the experiences. Yep, yeah, totally. I'm in. I'm in. Wonderful. All right, I'll see you all, all right. next week.